We already know that Agile is all about gracefully dealing with change, and in particular, placing more value on working closely with the customer to make sure the software evolves to serve their needs. But it can be tricky to reach agreement on exactly what those needs are, especially if your customer is non-technical. Engineers and non-engineers don't always speak the same language. That's why the Agile community came up with behavior-driven design and behavior-driven development, both often abbreviated BDD. BDD encourages customers and developers to have conversations in which they develop specific use cases or scenarios describing what the customer wants the software to do. Each scenario is called a user story and it describes a sequence of interactions and the expected results when a particular type of user or stakeholder attempts to use the software to complete some specific tasks. These conversations result in a set of low-fidelity user interface mock-up drawings using pencil and paper to sketch how the app looks at each step of the user story, just like the storyboards of a movie. The transitions between these drawings would be triggered by user actions. For example, given I am on the Rotten Potatoes homepage, when I click the Add New Movie link, then I should be on the page to create a new movie. When I fill in the movie details and click Save Changes, then I should be on a page showing the details for the new movie I just created. When I click back to list of movies on that page, then I should be back on the home page. Each step specifies an action the user might take or how the user would expect the software to respond to an action. But how do we turn those narratives and low fidelity mockups into real code? The amazing good news for software as a service is that we can translate the stories almost directly into actual executable tests using a remarkable BDD tool called Cucumber. As we'll see, Cucumber lets you write out the sequence of steps a user would take and the results the user should expect to observe in plain but stylized English. Then it lets you associate each of those steps with blocks of Ruby code that actually exercise your real app by simulating those user actions and examining how your app behaves as a result. Now, if you've previously used testing frameworks that support integration level tests, you might be thinking, why would I layer on a tool like Cucumber and write test cases in stylized English rather than just writing test cases in code? The main reason is that by creating a Cucumber scenario to capture each user story, not only do you end up with an integration level test for that story, but the expression of the test itself is understandable to a non-technical customer because it's derived directly from the meeting in which the stories were developed. So a Cucumber scenario serves not only as an integration level correctness test, verifying that you built the thing right, but also as a user acceptance test, verifying that you built the right thing. As we'll also see, you can write the complete Cucumber scenario before your app contains the code to implement the user story and make the scenario pass. You'll incrementally modify the app bit by bit to make each line of the scenario pass one step at a time. In other words, your development of the app will be driven by the behaviors captured in the user story, hence the name behavior-driven development. When we began teaching this course, we were concerned about how students would respond to such an unusual approach. BDD represents a different way of thinking about what a test is and a new approach to development in which you can write the whole test long before it's able to pass. To our pleasant surprise, students learned Cucumber quickly and really embraced it as a way of both testing their apps and documenting the user stories they agreed on with the customer. They even reported that writing Cucumber scenarios felt more natural than creating traditional tests because the scenarios are expressed in terms of users' high-level interactions with the app. As with all the new tools and techniques in this course, we hope you'll give BDD a serious try, and we believe you'll agree with our students that it is a great way to develop customer-centric software as a service.